uh, strike two in the turkey department. Man, that was exciting. I just got to set up on the tree. It's windy. It's like 25, 30 mile an hour winds. And I look up and there's a big old tom about 30 yards away. And uh, I just let him drift by. He was not going to come within range, so I let him go by. And then once he passed by, got the camera on, grabbed the bow, and yelped to him a few times, turned him around, he came in. But he wasn't going to come in down here. He was going to, like, stay out on the edge. And I, I found an open, I shoot. Arrow's going perfect for the first 18 of the 20-yard distance. There goes a branch that just fell. Loud one, too. And uh, my arrow hits a vine. I can see this like almost like it was it was in slow motion. Arrow is going perfect. Swings out, hits a vine. Still would have hit him close to the vitals. And then as it's turning sideways like this, it hits a vertical branch. It's not even. God, it's like uh, an inch maybe wide. And about mid shaft, it hits it breaks the arrow in half. I mean, it's like two yards before hitting that tom. I'm, arrow's going perfect. Breaks it right in half. <laughs> My watering hole, I filled it on Tuesday, and I'm just on a doe mission, but it's November 5th, anything can happen. Pitchfork is the buck that I'm after, and I found his matching set back on March 15th this year, and I haven't had a picture of him once from July through early November. I don't know if he moved on or he's dead or he died of, you know, each EHD or another hunter got him. I mean, you know, your mind wanders. Watch, he'll show up after I pull the stand. But, uh, I refilled the watering hole on Tuesday. So, uh, five days ago. And there's only maybe a third of it left. So, with it being 75 degrees out, and those bucks really cruising and chasing right now. That water is just as much of a draw as a hot dough almost because it's in very, very limited supply this year.
Well, I found her. Gosh, she ran close to 300 yards. Unbelievable. I mean, she's right there. Man, that was one hell of a track job, I have to admit. What frustrating. I mean, I look so hard for this deer. So about 6.30 she came in and uh, made what I thought was a perfect shot right behind the left front shoulder, but then it exited. It must have deflected off a rib and went down and further back than I would have liked. Came through uh, the liver and it was dark, uh, darker blood, but it was consistent blood. And I gave her like 45 minutes or so before I took up the trail and uh, she probably needed about an hour and a half, two hours at least. You know, you don't know that until you get down. I mean, complete pass through. She did the mule kick and I thought the rest is history, but apparently not. They are tough animals. So I'm gonna do a recap real quick. So uh, Doe came in and uh, shot her and waited about 30 minutes before I got down, walked back to the truck, dumped off my uh, camera gear, uh, my backpack and my bow started taking up the trail and I got maybe about 75 80 yards and I heard her take off and I thought gosh you gotta be kidding me so um, I sat down waited for about 10 15 minutes and kind of just turned my lights off and sat there for a while <clears throat> took up the trail again and then um, I, I see her I see the eyes you can see that on, on camera so then I turn off the light again I sit down a second time and I, I wait maybe another 15 minutes and I try to sneak out. I could hear her run off a little bit further and uh, but then she stopped about 50 yards. I, 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 didn't, I couldn't see her anymore and I couldn't hear her so I just kind of tiptoed in the direction I came. So, wow, oh, thank you God. My wife and I love venison and this is so good. Man, she ran close to 350 yards. They are so tough. Oh, beautiful girl. But you're going to make awesome table fare. So excited. Man. I don't get nervous at the shot too too, too often. I, I keep it together pretty good. But then after the shot, so my knees get kind of shaking. I get excited. So, But I thought, man, I, th you know, I, I, I played back the footage. And I thought, okay, this is, this is a done deal. But just a testament how tough these animals are. So I'm going to register this deer and uh, get to field dressing. So now I'm tagged out in Kentucky on does, and rifle season starts next Saturday. So, whew. man, I'm so blessed. So beautiful out here. Thank you, girl. I love all the, the trials and tribulations, the frustration, the joy that you brought. I mean, what a wonderful sport. White-tailed deer hunting with the bow. Doesn't get any better. Ah, awesome.